Hey everybody, got a video update for you here on this uh, grow room build. Uh, I did uh, I did finish off the framework here, tied everything in. This is really strong, really structurally sound. I'm just shaking it about. You can bang off these walls. Uh, you can bounce off these walls. You know, it's they're 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 in there real strong. Um, and uh, and mind you, you know, just uh, just some screws and some shims, and uh, and and this thing can be taped put up real fast, taken down real fast, and it is very very strong right now. We're done the framework for the entire walls. Uh, um, now your door is going to be the last thing to go on because you still got a lot of stuff coming in and out of that room. You're still going to have to do some drywalling. You're going to have to do some electrical. So you're going to keep coming in and out of the room. So the, the door is going to be your last thing to come on. Um, but what we have here is we have our... Um our doorway uh, or our door frame that's going to have to go on. Um, now you'll see before we just had that one wall. Uh, if you remember from the last video, we just basically had that one wall over there that I tied in at the top, and um, and it was just basically you know two two by fours with a uh, a, a little um, uh, holder in the middle. Now as I put this over here, you're going to notice that this is. This is going to tie into here. Our door frame is going to tie into this side of the wall over here. This is going to turn into our king stud over here. And this is going to tie into there. It's going to tie in there nice and tight. And we're going to basically have um, our door frame there. Uh, I'm just going to tie this in with the hammer here just to, just to give you a better, better view of what's going on. you'll see just kind of tying it in there boom on this one you know you want the measurement to be nice and precise so then you can just kind of notch it in like this get it in nice and tight right then at the bottom you just kind of make sure that it's in there it's in there good these ones you don't have to shim uh, because right here you'll notice this is, uh, that'll be your king on this side, that'll be your king on that side. These are your jack studs, that's your header. Your header's gonna come across here and slide between the two kings. And that's gonna put a little bit of pressure. It's gonna push this side of the wall against that wall. It's gonna push this side towards that side. Um, and then you're gonna have uh, a lot more stability in your walls. Uh, and this, this is called your jack stud. This is gonna tie into the king right here. And this is, you know, just a few screws, bang, bang, and this, plus with a header that's coming across here that's that's tying that into here and that's really going to give you a lot of stability in that wall um, and as soon as you tie this one into here that one into there you're basically putting these two walls as one structure basically you're creating one wall and don't forget we did that other little thing over here in the corner um, where you basically tied one wall into the other so then we're basically just really tying this whole frame in together uh, I didn't want to squeeze this into the last video um, because this is something that this this is the door basically but the door is the last thing that you're gonna be doing but the door frame has to go on first because this is gonna be part of the structure when I'm doing the drywall I like to bring the the drywall out to the king stud so then uh, I like to get this done already so we're gonna have that done on there um, the last thing to do on there is right at the top here just above the doorway because the door might be a little heavy so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna put a little piece of wood here uh, this is called uh, a cripple stud and uh, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna knock that into place and you'll see this is again nice and tight on the uh, measurements there going to knock this into place just uh, just as a demonstration I'm going to tie everything in with some screws but just to give you a better idea of what uh, what I mean here you see that that's going to tie the top into there that's going to bring a lot of strength down that's going to hold the door frame down on this header and the two jacks and that's really going to hold your doors because you may have a heavy door um, uh, maybe made out of wood or, or whatever the case may be it may be well extra insulated so it could have a lot of weight on it uh, so that's basically the way to do it if you have a 
really large doorway. Uh, this one's only at about 28 inches or so. But if you have even longer, you may want to put two or three cripple studs on there. Um, but you know, one is okay. I mean, this is you know, it, it, it's you're not holding an elephant or a rhino in there. You know, it's it's just a room that you want to be sturdy, um, and 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 you want it to be structurally sound. So that's going to hold your door really well. The door I'm going to show you uh, basically last when I put that door up. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the door, uh, how to do the door framing here because this has to come up right now. So I'm going to tie a bunch of screws into there. We're basically done our entire frame. The room is completely done. I'm going to give you an overlap view here. The room is completely done. We got our door over there. Uh, we got one side wall, our two side walls over there, plus our door frame is ready to go. Um, next step, I'm gonna be running some uh, electrical and some drywall, and then at the end, we'll put that door there and then the finishing touches, and we should be good. Uh, keep up with the videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.